What's up guys? So let's get started with this bald cap. I don't have the thin cap today, unfortunately, so we gotta do all this, all this extra stuff. Do I even have my scissors? No. If it didn't come thin, we just gonna have to make it thin and look crazy in the process. You know your cap's done baking when it's fully dry. You won't feel no residue or anything going on up here or it's gonna be some people cap. Now to stop looking ridiculous halfway. I'm using my L'Oreal True Match to tint up the cap. My cap was malfunctioning and rolling up a little bit, so I took just the smallest amount of the yellow tube got to be. You don't want to use too much when it comes to that tube because it will get messy if you use too much. So I just used a little bit on my finger and then put it on the tip of my comb and just rolled down the edges and then also use my True Match to tint up the lace as well. The fit is not too bad. Like it's actually covering my ears for the most part. But the only thing is with that, I gotta pull it way down on my forehead. So I'm gonna have to take some of this off of here in order to make this look right. I didn't bring my tweezers up here, so I'm just gonna use just some plucking. That was quicker anyway. And I'm plucking at, well not plucking, but pulling. I'm pulling at an angle because I still wanna maintain having somewhat of a widow's peak when I do this. But she gotta come back, like this ain't gonna work. Okay. It's looking a little vampirish like the last one again, so I'm gonna have to make this a little less pointy. But we on track. Okay, cool. So there we go. Just gonna press these roots back. It's a silky hair, so this ain't gonna take much to press that. I'm very excited about having a wig that mostly fit. I ain't never had to cut off this much hair before. I'm very much here for the sizing. They got me with the sizing. I'm using my usual, the Evan with the in the red can. And I am going over the, maybe I shouldn't talk at the same time. I am going over the lace because that's just easier if you're not gonna use actual glue and you're doing a ball cap. If you're not doing a ball cap, you really could go under the lace because you don't have to worry about your ball cap coming up. But if you're not gonna do like a full out glue install, it's better to go over the lace if you're gonna also do a ball cap. But the key is not to get too far into the hair because you don't wanna make it too hard. But you are gonna hit them roots a little bit. It just is what it is. I'm going over it twice for security purposes. A tip for spraying over the lace that I actually just started doing literally right now that you're watching it is combing the roots while I'm blow drying. That stopped the roots from being so stiff. You know what I'm talking about. That like stiff look it can get when you go over the lace. I didn't have it this time. Um, I'm not sure if I actually tinted this dark enough. I might have to go back. Ooh, boy, did I secure this. It's too secure. Over secured. But I mean, I guess that's better than under secured. Gotta get all up close every time because I hate when there's excess lace. Like, that's just, it's just a day giveaway. I say it all the time, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's a day giveaway. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to tint this up more. But it looks like it's gonna be really cute. This is a lot longer than I even realized till I put it on, to be quite honest. The hair feels great though. The hair feels like really good quality. It's not dry, even though it's colored. Cause you know sometimes when you get colored hair, especially pre-colored, it can be kind of dry. A little more Evan spray. You see this lace melting right back down into the skin, period. It's giving scalp. It's definitely giving scalp. We were so close but my ear is not fully covered. Close enough though, I'll take it. But at least it's only a little bit of hair. I feel like doubling up your elastic band gives it a little more push down. And the only thing with these Velcro ones, they're a whole lot easier than trying to like tie elastic on your own, but it needs a little more like push down on it. Like it just needs to be a little more snug. I don't know, but this makes it better. Hmm. 
Let me check. How many times have I done a side part? It might be time for me to switch it up and hit the middle part. Oh, no, no, no. I just did the middle part. We're going to the side. This is coming off like she's way more of a shutter than she is. It didn't really come pre-plucked at all. This actually, I plucked a chunk out of this hair, you guys. Like, a lot. So I feel like I'm still brushing out a lot of the shedding from when I did pluck it out since I had to pluck so much. It still didn't take me too long to pluck just because, you know, I'm used to it. But if you're not used to it, that's something to think about. I typically like pre-plucked wigs because even though they're not done plucking it, like, I still gotta go back and do it. It's a little more done. Like, it's a good head start. But this wasn't too bad because this hair's density wasn't overly full. But be forewarned, if you're not used to customizing, you're gonna have to customize today. However, this hair is so pretty. Like, it is gorgeous. And I was worried, since this is a silkier hair texture, if it wasn't gonna be, you know, full enough. Because a lot of times, I've been noticing, like, these type of textures. And maybe it's just because I'm used to wearing kinky straight now. But they don't be full enough a lot of times. But this one, very full. Well, full in the way that it should be. It's the appropriate amount of full. I put the clip here to hold this hair back in position for those of you saying I make it look too easy. I'm trying to give y'all more step-by-step -step direction. It's just that, you know, I be feeling like it's redundant. Like I've done so many videos, but I have to remember I've seen every video. Everybody has not seen every video. But I feel like for me and even my main people who watch my videos religiously, like I be saying the same stuff. She curls decently well. Now keep in mind though, this is a very long unit, like super long. So, you know, it's not gonna give you the tightest of the tight curls since it's like a good, I'm guesstimating, I'm gonna put it in the description, but I'm guesstimating it's a good 26 inches. I'm actually taking medium to large size pieces of hair. Usually I do medium to small, but this hair is, you know, it's silky so that the heat is penetrating through it a lot quicker. This thing is super hot, you guys. This is my Foxy Bay Flat Iron and it is in my Amazon store. All of my tools I'll be using, I do list, oh, I went the wrong way. <laughs> Let me stop talking, but all of my tools and stuff I'll be using, I do list in my Amazon store, if it is on Amazon, so y'all can pick it up easily, so you can get the same look the same way I did. I say it all the time, but you know, making sure I cross my T's and dot my I's. In this video, curl opposite directions in the back and away from the face in the front. I don't want it mixing with the got to be or the ebon because that'll just cause a mess and I gotta start from the top. But round of applause for this lay. I did that. Ooh, that is way too much and I'm salty because this is designer foundation. What a waste. When it comes to like blending my makeup with my lace, I try to go real light because I don't want it to cause a problem or get caked up too much. Plus, if I need to go back over it with some spray, and I do think I do need to go back over it right here with some spray, if it's not too much makeup around that area, you can still do that and it'll still look seamless when you're done. Just a little bit. Just want that to dissolve back into my skin. Period. Is period old? Am I showing my age a little bit? Like, I mean, I'm young, but like, am I showing I'm still a millennial? <laughs> I realized when I 
was doing my finishing touches that there was still a little bit of excess lace left over and it wasn't blending down so i went over it put some alcohol to get rid of the makeup and then reapply it so it blended well and then i did decide baby hair police don't come for me but i did decide to go ahead and add just a little bit of baby hair right by my ear just a little added touch because i did think i wanted to wear the hair behind my ear and i wanted just a little you know razzle dazzle just something a little extra but you know not too crazy because i don't even have enough forehead for that i'm so happy with this y'all i'm honestly shocked i thought this was just gonna be like an okay unit to me been there done that but no like the hair is great quality it obeys me well the lace is not even hd but it's doing an hd thing for me right now i'm here for it they did a great job on this pre-color the hair does not really tangle on like that the shedding was me the shedding was me so don't judge the wig by that because i did cut a lot of this unit from layers to cutting you know the ear tabs and even you know just cutting just cutting on the wig and plucking it so that was on me but all in all this wig is so cute if you don't